hello, 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 YouTubers. This is Yunus Reality TV blogger. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. Today, I'm going to be discussing Florita's comments on Instagram um, regarding this Corey and Olivia situation. And um, full disclosure, I kind of posted in sections throughout this video kind of what was said in the comments and um, just kind of highlighted out the names of the other users just to protect their privacy and just um, only show case um, Florita's username since she is a verified user account on Instagram. Um, so if you guys will recall, um, last week, Shannon did an Instagram live basically confirming all of these breakups that happened in the season three cast and um, basically alluded to something happening between Corey and Florita that might have been the reason for the breakup. Um, however, she didn't specifically say like what it was that necessarily happened. And there were rumors that when Corey went to Miami, that something went down between him and Florita. And um, that particular weekend, there were some fans on TikTok that actually had posted footage of them out and about and things. However, Corey and Florita, you know, made it a point to not post anything from that weekend. And so if you'll recall, um, back in Atlantic City, um, there was also some drama that happened there because when Charlie had got on Shannon's Instagram live last week, he had said that he had made a comment to Jeremy that, you know, the body language between Florita and Corey looked inappropriate and looked a little suspect, like something went down between them. And so um, I guess Corey, you know, overheard part of that conversation and had called Jeremy to find out necessarily what did Charlie say to him. And so basically Jeremy told him what um, Charlie's comments were about Florita and Corey. And then subsequently after that, both Florita and Corey unfollowed Charlie. So um, essentially, Olivia confirmed that, you know, technically they were exclusive, her and Corey. However, technically it's not cheating because um, they weren't considered boyfriend and girlfriend, but basically alluded to her not wanting to go to Miami whenever the next world tour date is for the season three cast because she did not want to be around Florita, essentially. So here we are in the comments now where um, there's a user that said, you know, LOL, I guess my comment about her getting in between Olivia and Corey struck a nerve because she deleted it. And then um, Florida's response is because it's not true and accusations from strangers get deleted, especially when it's a huge accusation like that. And the user comes back and says, that's not what Shannon and Charlie were saying on live. And then Florita says, Shannon said, I never cheated. And Charlie loves the drama and made a false accusation, which is why I don't follow him. S-H-I-T like that doesn't fly with me. Then the fan replies, why would Charlie lie, though? And it's an extremely random thing to point fingers at someone and then say that they're a homewrecker. And so then Florita replies, he loves the attention and drama. Plus, Olivia told me he tried kissing her in AC, and that's why he actually left early. So he obviously wanted to start something there. There's a lot more to the story that Charlie isn't saying. So first and foremost, um, when guilty people do something... Um, or people who get defensive, the first thing they like to do is deflect and bring up something completely, totally unrelated, which is what Florida did in this complete scenario. Like, why are you revealing more information about Olivia and Charlie's personal business um, that doesn't concern you when a fan is trying to hold you accountable um, for you to tell your truth in terms of what specifically happened um, with you and Corey? And so, yeah, Florida, you technically didn't cheat because you're not in a relationship. <laughs> so technically it would be Corey that was doing the cheating um, because he was the one that's involved in Olivia. Um, so that was weird. And, um, you know, for her to say that Charlie left early is a little sus because Charlie had a pre-planned Friendsgiving that was also in San Diego that same weekend. So how did he um, leave early on purpose and had time to make it in time for a pre-planned Friendsgiving that had like his name 
um, <laughs> engraved into the tables and things that for the friends that he had in San Diego. Like how how is that a coincidence that he just abruptly left when he had a friend's giving to go to a second one um, in addition to the one that he was out in AC for? AC Atlantic City. So I don't know what's going on with Florida. Um, I think Florida is trying to clean up her image. However, I don't understand why she waited nearly a week to address anything because there's been, you know, plenty of days that have passed since Shannon's Instagram live that Florida could have definitely came out and said something and she chose not to, um, but has time to respond to random fans on the internet that have questions and, you know, trying to get spicy with them and it's not necessary. I personally do not believe what Florida is saying, because if you will recall, the same thing happened with Bailey and Jeremy. And you, if you'll recall, Bailey had confirmed shortly after Love Island had wrapped that her and Jeremy went their separate ways. However, with the New York City World Tour stop, um, there was conversations between Bailey and Jeremy about potentially working on things and about potentially getting back together and that he would kind of see what was up between them um, once, you know, she arrives in NYC to see if they could get back to that and potentially get back together. However, Florita, um, who was supposed to originally room with one of the season three Islanders, um, decided to leave a few days earlier for NYC and um, essentially stayed with Jeremy at Jeremy's apartment the entire time, which was not originally a part of um, Florita's itinerary and plans to be doing. Um, and I think also what happened is originally, if you'll recall, when Florita was eliminated from Love Island, she made it a big point to say that she didn't like Jeremy and how he behaved and that she was waiting specifically for Corey. Um, and then she changed up towards the end of the season once certain fans started to soften up on Jeremy and once some of the dumped Islanders confirmed that, you know, Jeremy's not getting the best edit to really show his true personality and how he is and everything else. And so then all of a sudden, Florida changed her tune on Jeremy. And then next thing you know, she's out days in advance visiting Jeremy in NYC. And things were um, hot and heavy for a while because they both were posting back and forth flights to NYC, flights to Miami. They were um, recording different food and different um, restaurants and things that they were at, but would never film each other. Um, so it looked like an extended sneaky link slash friends with benefits type of situation that they were trying to keep on the low because it was basically messy because I think Bailey at one point felt that, you know, there was an opportunity for her and um, Jeremy to get back together. And so Bailey, of course, has been completely awesome about the situation because she really could have let have and, you know, said how she really feels on this. And um, I just think if this is true, that something went down inappropriately between Corey and Olivia, um, not Corey and Olivia, Corey and Florita, um, you know, while he was still involved with Olivia, then Florita simply needs to own it instead of trying to um, cover it up or try to deflect and spill somebody else's tea um, so that she's not getting as much heat, which is completely unnecessary. Um, and Olivia even even alluded to the fact that she was going to also spill her own um, information into what happened with the breakup on an upcoming podcast that she's co-hosting. And while she reiterated there wasn't cheating, she did confirm that something did happen. So I'm not sure this new um, this new thing where people are exclusive, but they're not counting certain things as cheating if they're not boyfriend and girlfriend. I don't I thought exclusive meant that you weren't seeing anybody else. You weren't going to be involved with anybody else. So in the event somebody is involved with somebody else, that technically is cheating. Um, <laughs> so um, I'm just not understanding this cast. I don't understand. Um, this is the second situation that Florida has been involved in um, that looks sketchy, that looks very messy. And for whatever reason, either because certain people like her, they want to cover up this story and try to, you know, diffuse it and make it seem like it's not a big deal. But actually it 
it is a big deal. Um, and I just don't understand because there's different islanders who, you know, have held themselves accountable for other things and who are, you know, very likable islanders who have been getting unnecessary hate and vitriol on the internet for simply existing and i just think it's very funny that like they're going out of their way to protect florita and you know make it seem as though there's nothing suspect that went down but olivia and charlie say otherwise and why is it Florita's tea to spill that Charlie and Olivia kiss like why is she even mentioning that when the question was about her and Corey so that right there tells me that there is some level of guilt that something did happen that she doesn't want out there and so she's trying to take somebody else down with her as a result of that so that she gets less heat on her and the focus can be on charlie and what if charlie decides to get online or to go to reddit or go to some other platform and you know basically spill all the beans and just air everything out because Floria Florita is not um keeping it 100. So, um you know, it's just I don't know what's going on with this cast. Like there's just so much messiness going on. And I hope Shannon doesn't do any more lives that's confirming <laughs> everybody else's business um because there seems to be some gaps in these stories to where you're left trying to put together the puzzle pieces. And if you do not have the accurate account of everything that's happened from A to Z, how do you feel that your authority to spill the tea on other people's business? Um, and people who have spilled in the past in the cast have been fairly accurate in what was happening. Um, so therefore, um, <laughs> in this instance, though, it's not accurate at all because it's a game of he said she said and who's exclusive who isn't exclusive what is cheating what isn't cheating if you're not in a relationship or if you're not boyfriend and girlfriend and it's all of these different nuances and labels and non-labels and twisting things around to make things seem a certain way and it's just completely unnecessary like just own if something went down with you and Corey um or if it didn't and if nothing happened why did Olivia get on live with Shannon and make it a point to say that she was not comfortable going to the next world tour stop in Miami because of who was going to be there and that she knew that Florida lived there why would you make that comment if nothing happened, if nothing went down between Corey and Florita, why would you say that? Why isn't Olivia going? I understand the awkwardness, obviously, of being around Corey, but, um, you know, she knows that Florita lives there. So why would she go if something indeed happened? You know, so it's just like at what point, you know, I get this cast wants to present this united front that they like each other, that everybody's family and this and that. And, you know, everything's all in the up and up. But it's like at some point, you know, people need to be held accountable. And it's not fair to throw in other Islanders face these different hookups and different situationships with people who had genuine feelings for some of these guys and to throw it in these females faces i think is disgusting you know so it's like at what point is there going to be some boundaries and some accountability that's held instead of throwing certain things in people's faces or doing certain flirting in front of different exes and things of that nature, trying to get a rise out of people? Like, what are you accomplishing? Like, what's the point? You know, because if you're that secure in your situation, you don't need to do that. You don't need to be putting on a show or, you know, trying to obsessively kiss or do all this extra stuff in front of certain islanders to make them feel a certain kind of way because that shows your insecurity. Um, so, you know, those are really my thoughts on the situation. Unfortunately, this cast does not seem to want to back down on any drama or any messiness anytime soon. And all of this postseason drama could have been <laughs> incorporated in the show for all I care because it's more entertaining than the dry season that we were given, um, you know, really post Casa more and beyond. So, um, 
those are really all of the thoughts that I have. Um, please let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think Florita is telling the truth in these comments? Do you think that she is lying? Do you think she's trying to cover up and protect herself um, from the actual truth to make herself look good and to, you know, make her image look good? Um, let me know your thoughts. Um, as I always say, the cover up is always worse than the crime. Because if you're going out of your way to throw other people under the bus and getting it defensive and, you know, trying to call other people out instead of owning your part in whatever did or didn't happen, um, then it makes you look suspect. Then it makes you look like you have something that you're trying to hide from everybody. So, again, let me know what you guys think. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you guys again very soon.